Hey, this is Saflev Avi from LinkedInArts.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn a finger style arrangement of Seasons in the Sun. The beautiful song by Terry Jacks and originally by Jacques Brel in French. If you haven't listened to Jacques Brel, what are you waiting for? But first, let's learn this. Uh, I'm going to play it for you. This isn't my arrangement. Uh, I found this arrangement on YouTube and I just kind of rearranged it a little. Um, I'm going to play it for you and then we're going to break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen as usual and by the end of this lesson you're going to be able to make your own arrangement. I'm going to show you different ways you can play this. So first it goes like this. Okay, so this only has three chords, C, D minor, and G. That's it. Now you begin with the C chord, ready, and you play strings one and three together four times. And then on the second string you play frets one and three. Okay, three with your pinky. And then the next, uh, the next melody notes are um, the open E string twice. Now again, you can harmonize with the G string or you can harmonize with the entire chord, strings one, two, and three. Okay, and then the bass. And you complete the bar in any way you see fit, okay? Any picking pattern you want to use, for example. Or. Or even. Play. Okay, it's your arrangement. You can fill in the bars in any picking pattern you wish to pick. And if you think you don't know what to do, just try. Just try and you'll see how easy it is. Just play the bass at first and then just let your fingers play. Okay, it's as easy as that because the chord is on and all you need to do is just find a picking pattern that you like. Okay, don't be afraid to try new things. That's why I don't want you to copy what I play. Okay, because I improvise as well. Um, sometimes it sounds good, sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't sound good, then I know what I shouldn't play. And then my next improvisation becomes better. Um, so don't be afraid to try. Okay, so that's the first lick. And um, a little about the picking pattern. So, the next lick is this. Okay, now it's the same thing, you pick strings one and three together five times, and then it's one and zero on the E string. Now, you can harmonize with two and zero on the G string, and then you have one and two, and zero and zero, okay, on the um, E and G strings, strings one and three. One and two, which is kind of a D minor outline, and then zero and zero, which is again a C outline. So you can hammer it on if you want, and 
then play the open strings again. You can hammer it on and pull it off. You can uh, play it and then pull it off. Okay, it's your choice. Again, improvise with it. Okay, and then you play D minor. Okay, you play D minor. Now, you play the bass note, the, the D string, the D bass, with the other D note, 3 on the B string. Okay, both D notes, it's an octave. And then you play 2 on the G string twice. And then, again, complete the bar in any way you like. Okay, just an example. <clears throat> Um, I'm gonna give you some examples later on. Let's just play the melody first and then we'll talk about filling in bars. Um, and then, which is just the bass again at the beginning of the bar, and then the B string five times. Uh, you can harmonize with the G string, and then it's one and zero on the B string. Again, you can har yeah, you can harmonize with the G string, okay, you, or just leave the just leave the A note on the G string. Okay, it sounds kind of weird, so I'll take it off. Or you can even uh, hammer hammer it on, pull it off, or uh, hammer it on and pull it off, or play it and then pull it off. Okay, uh, again, your choice. Another choice, uh, another option. Okay, you can slide into the one and then pull it and then take it off. There are Many, many choices, it's your arrangement, you choose what to emphasize and what you want to play. I'm just giving you the notes. Um, ah, and then it's just C. Okay, the, the melody note is just the B string on one and the C bass, which is a C octave, they're both C notes. Uh, and then you have, again, another bar to fill. So, let's play this line, okay? And I'll try to show you different ways to play it. I'll play it twice, first time. option in my opinion but I just want to show you what you can do with it I went for the extreme version now let's play a mellow version Open E string twice. Again, you can harmonize everything with the G string or even with everything. Play the entire chord if you want. And then 3 and 1 on the B string. And then D minor and you play the D octave again. Okay, and you can harmonize with the G string so you play strings 2, 3, and 4. And then it's the same line. Um, no, it's not the same line. It's it's zero one three three on the B string. Okay, you can harmonize it with two on the G string. 
Now, um, no. Made a mistake, sorry. Okay, because the three is a G chord. So it's zero, one, then a G chord, and you play three on the B string and three on the E bass. And again, you can harmonize with the G string and then you have a G octave. Okay, the bass and the G string. And then, one and zero on the B string. And again, the C octave in the C chord. And you can harmonize with the G string. So it's um, one, three, open E string twice. 3, 1 on the B string, D minor, open, e, open B string, 1, 3, and the 3 is a G. I'm confusing things too much, it's a lot simpler than that. C, okay, bass, 1 and 3 on the B string, open E string twice, 3, 1 on the B string, D minor, 0, 1 on the B string, G, okay, 3 on the B string, twice, 1, 0 on the B string, C, okay, so it's D minor, G, C, and again, you can embellish it, you can hammer on, pull off, Slide if you want, uh, for example. Mm. Okay, something like that. Okay, but this again was an extreme version, it was exaggerated. I don't think you should go that far. Uh, just a small hammer on, a small pull off here and there, and you're set. Okay, it's a very simple and it's a very uh mellow and melodic song, you don't want to overburden it with too many embellishments. Okay, that's just my opinion. Again, you can make a metal version of it with tons of extra notes and it would sound awesome if you put your heart in it. Okay, so that's the verse and you play the verse twice. So let's play it. So that's the verse. Now let's play the chorus. The chorus begins like this. Okay, that's the first half of the chorus. So, you're still at C. At C. Hmm, Captain. Uh, okay, so... Don't forget about it. Um, so, uh, you play... Play thirds. Thirds are when you play the third interval of the scale um, together. Okay, so this, this is a third, this is a third, this is a third. It's a major third, a minor third, and a minor third. It's a solo of thirds. So you have your first third, that's the last time I'm going to say third, and um, inside the C chord. You play strings one and two. And the open E string is open and the B string is on one. Okay, so it's zero and one. Then you take your pinky, put it on three on the B string, you take your first finger, put it on one on the E string, and you have one and three. Okay? And then you take that two frets up to three and five. 
Okay, but you need the C bass, so you just bar the third fret. And you play the C bass and strings one and two. Okay, <clears throat> strings one and two on three and five. Three and five. So it's zero and one, one and three, and then you bar and it's three and five with the C bass on three on the A string. And then you play this third three times. Broke my promise. And on the third time you play the bass again. Okay, so it's... Then you take that line backwards. One and three, zero and one, and then you play D minor. Now, the D minor line goes like this. Okay? Um, you put on a D5, you don't have to put anything on the E string because you need it to open. So you play the D bass along with the B string, again harmonize with the G string if you like. I like to harmonize with the G string all the time. Um, so the solo is on the B string, it's 3, 1, 3, open E string, then the B string again on 3. Okay, so it's 3, 1, 3, E string, 3. So together they sound like this. Got it? Um, so you have the line, the third line forward, then backwards, then D minor. Then you play the B string on 3 again, then the open E string again, then a G7, okay? G7 is 3 on the, the E bass, it's a G bass as usual, and 1 on the E string instead of 3 on the E string, it's 1 on the E string, okay? Now you can play both E strings on 1 and 3, or you can play the entire chord. Okay, which is what I like to do, strings 1, 2, and 3, and the bass. Then, 3, 1, 0 on the B string again. Okay, now you can add the bass either at the end note or at all the notes. Okay, it's your choice again. And then, um... The final line is still on G, it's the open B string three times with the bass note along with the third B string. Again, you can play the chord to, for emphasis. And then two on the G string, twice, open B string, then the C chord again. The C octave with G uh, as their harmony, the G string, the open G note. Okay? Okay? Uh, so, again, okay, we went over the D uh, minor chord, and then again, B string at, at 3, and then open E string, G7, 3 1 0 on the B string. Again, with the open B string, play the chord or just the bass note. Then the open B string three more times. Two on the G string twice. Open B string. C chord. Right? Even if you play the entire chord, still sounds good because the note is there. The, the C note is there and the high E is just the harmony. Uh, and you play that twice and then it's either back to the verse or you finish on C. So let's play the chorus. minor with the open E string, G7, 
seven. Still a G. C. And you're done. Now about picking patterns. A bit about picking patterns. P picking patterns aren't too difficult. Okay? Um, you can pick downwards and upwards. Okay? You can uh, play a picking pattern such as th um, third string, second string, third string, one, first string. Okay, let's read out uh, numbers, it's easier. Bass, and then three, two, three, one, two, three, two. Okay, something like that, or just inverse it. Bass, one, two, three, two, three, two, one. Something like that. Okay, just come up with a sequence of, uh, of strings. And the more original the sequence, the more original your chord will sound. Now you can harmonize all the time with your thumb, okay? If you play the first string, you can pick the D string with your thumb, or even the G string, okay? And you can play uh, couplets, okay? A finger and a thumb together. Um, there are plenty of options. You can play uh, couplets of strings. Okay, strings one, t one and two, and two and three, and three and four. Okay, and then it's... And you can play um, jumping strings. Strings one and three, two and four, three and five. Okay, um, just experiment with it. And now, you go play but first, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of lessons already on the channel. I accept requests. I've just started a terrific beginner series. Go download the tab from the website. The tab is for free, as all my lessons are. And if you want to give something back, there's a donation button. Um, and I'd appreciate any donation whatsoever. So I thank you in advance. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Share this lesson if you like let other people know that Lick and Riff exists, that all, that's all I ask. Uh, just let them know that there are free guitar lessons online and um, a nice teacher. I'll see you the next lesson. You go practice, get it under your fingers, make your own arrangement, have fun, and we'll see each other again in no time. I'm sure of that. So bye for now.